Good day. I want to begin this series of recordings by giving a short introduction to micro simulation in general and the Tanzanian micro simulation model, TASMOD in particular. During the course of this presentation, we'll briefly explore what is micro simulation, then consider what is TASMOD move on to what does TASMOD do and how does TASMOD work and then conclude by giving an overview of what's covered in this training. First of all, what is micro simulation? There's a good quote um, from Mitten et al. Micro simulation models use micro data on persons or households or firms or other micro units and simulate the effect of changes in policy or other changes on each of these units. Differences before and after the change can be analysed at the micro level to show the overall effect of the change. So basically what happens is that we have a micro data set, as we'll see in the case of TASMOD, this is the Tanzanian uh, Household Budget Survey, um, and that micro data set contains information on individuals and households, has information on family structure, income and expenditure. And that forms the base data set on which the micro simulation model works. Now the micro simulation model itself um, simulates the Tanzanian tax system, um, that's both income tax and also some indirect taxes and also the benefit system, in particular some of the productive social safety net benefits. And then this micro simulation process generates another version, if you like, of the household survey with simulated um, data within it, simulated taxes, simulated benefits, and it allows us to look at the impact on both individuals and indeed households, on poverty and inequality and on redistribution. This will become clearer as I think when we go through the, uh, um, the, the way the model works in detail. But basically this power to be able to simulate policy systems um, is a very uh, uh, um, good one because it's not only simulating the current policy situations but it gives us the scope to simulate uh, policy situations that have not yet been uh, uh, um, implemented to look at their impact on things like poverty and inequality and indeed to work out the costs of implementing. Now what can micro simulation be used for? I've begun to indicate this because it can answer questions such as how does the current tax and social benefit system impact upon individuals in different groups? For example, different income groups, different family types. To what extent does the current system of social benefits reduce poverty and inequality? Because we can actually look at the difference between um, uh, switching on the simulation of the various social benefits such as the PSSN benefits I talked about and then also look at the um, uh, distribution with the benefits um, switched off and then therefore be able to look at the extent to which the existing PSSN benefits actually do reduce poverty and inequality. It also allows us to simulate the cost of implementing a particular social security policy reform. So for example we could modify the rules for um, um, the, the, the basic cash transfer um, and work out how much that would cost or we could introduce a completely new um, cash transfer such as some kind of um, uh, um, transfer for unemployed youth and we could actually cost out that and Importantly, we could work out what would be the impact on poverty and inequality of introducing a new policy or modifying an existing policy. Okay, for
before we actually get to, to the nitty gritty, it's important to actually say something about where TASMOD uh, uh, um, fits with uh, a, a broader family of uh, micro simulation models um, in Europe and elsewhere in Africa. So TASMOD is a static tax benefit micro simulation model which is based on the existing Euromod uh, model architecture. And Euromod has been developed over a 20-year period by Professor Holly Sutherland and colleagues um, and is currently used in over 25 countries in Europe. However, it's moved beyond Europe and there is a current collaboration between uh, a number of parties and the United Nations University um, uh, to bring the Euromod platform um, to, to Africa and elsewhere in the developing world. So who, who are the partners here? Well, the partners are the University of Essex, um, UNU wider and the Southern African Social Policy Research Insights, SASPRI. It's a major research programme in which tax benefit micro simulation models for selected developing countries in Africa and elsewhere are in the process of being built and finalised. And the outcome of the work will be a set of models for individual countries and research papers that contain simulation analysis of tax and benefit reforms. And we can talk about some of that in relation to Tanzania later. Now SASPRI is working with local partners to develop models for Mozambique, uh, Tanzania uh, and Zambia. And um, SASPRI is also updating SAMOD and NAMOD as part of the SouthMod activity. And SAMOD and NAMOD are in a sense um, African prototypes of using the uh, Euromod framework. Um, SASPRI was developed, uh, uh, sorry, SA Mod was developed by SASPRI 10 years ago um, uh, as, as part of a, a program of work for the South African government um, to produce uh, um, a transparent, user-friendly micro simulation model for South Africa. And NAMOD is a, um, a sister uh, um, micro simulation model that was developed um, for Namibia um, around four years ago. Okay, TASMOD itself, the Tanzanian model has a standalone user-friendly interface which we will look at in a, in a, in a little while. Um, the important thing is that the model workings are transparent and the user has full control over the simulations carried out. So this is really important and it underpins the Euromod philosophy and indeed the Southmod philosophy that um, users of this uh, uh, um, model can actually make the changes themselves and analyse the output themselves. doesn't rely on uh, continual reference back to consultants or others um, when, when uh, um, a, a, a government, for example, wants to test out some particular um, tax or benefit. The current version of um, TASMOD version 1.0 is underpinned by the Household Budget Survey 2011-2012, as I think I mentioned earlier. And obviously it can be updated with new data and policy reforms when required. So when the 2017-2018 HBS is released, then the model can be um, adjusted so that it becomes updated with the new data set. It also, as, as taxes and benefits change, it can be updated with new policy rules. So, the first step then in micro simulation is to collect data of the incomes and expenditures of individuals in a representative survey of, hou of households. And as I've indicated, TASMOD is underpinned by the HBS 2011-12. And this represents the characteristics of the mainland Tanzanian population in 2011-2012.
and I, it is just the mainland population, as people here will know. Um, we do want, though, in due course, to be able to produce um, a sister model for Zanzibar, and we're beginning negotiations um, in this regard. Now, the HBS 2011-2012 is a representative sample of 46,593 people living in 10,186 households in the Tanzanian mainland. And the weights from the HBS 2011-12, as adjusted, are used to calculate national figures um, from the simulations um, when we need to calculate impacts um, on poverty and inequality and cost is to have a set of policy rules that can be applied to individuals in the data to determine what social transfers they are entitled to and what taxes they should pay. In order to simulate a policy, we have to be able to translate the rules into a format that can be understood by the model. So that's one uh, constraint. So the rules need to be in such a form that they can be translated into rules within the model. The second is that the data set uh, needs to have information that will enable us to apply the rules. Now, these two things aren't always straightforward. There's often constraints within the data. The data didn't ask particular questions that are necessary um, to model a policy. Um, and often here, we have to make assumptions, but we need to just make explicit the assumptions that we have applied. In TASMOD, we've um, produced policy rules for the years 2012 and 2015, um, and that's we describe as TASMOD version 1.0. We will shortly be um, preparing the data rules for 2016 and then 2017, all within the course of this year. What are the actual policies that we have um, implemented? Well, in terms of social assistance and social insurance, We've implemented the productive social safety net policies, a fixed basic cash transfer and the variable conditional cash transfer. We've also simulated the public works, but in this case we've only produced an eligibility flag. And even with those three um, types of social assistance, we've had to make assumptions, which we can talk about and in, in, in questions. Um, we've also simulated the National Health Insurance Fund, both the employer and employee contributions, and will in due course be simulating pension uh, contributions. In terms of direct and indirect taxes, we've simulated PAYE income tax for those in receipt of income from salaries and wages, also presumptive income tax which is payable um, to small traders if their turnover from self-employment is less than 20 million Tanzanian shillings per annum. We've also simulated personal income tax for account cases. These are the self-employed whose income exceeds the presumptive tax threshold. We've simulated a limited a number of excise duties. In fact, those um, uh, 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 um, relating to alcoholic drinks, tobacco products and vehicle fuel and in the, and the, in the case of vehicle fuel it also includes the fuel levy. We have also implemented value added tax across the board um, but it's important to say that part of this training will be to review any other policies that need to be implemented for, implemented for 2016 or 2017 and indeed to get your views on the way that we've implemented the policies that we have implemented and if there are things that don't appear to you to be correct or that could be improved it would be really important to get that feedback um, because you are the key state stakeholders in this and then we can amend the model to build a, a, a better model. And it's important, I think, at this point to say that 
model building is an iterative process. It, it's, I, I mentioned that uh, SA mod has been going for 10 years, and I think progressively over that 10 year period, the rules have been refined and it, within the model, and the model has got better over time. It's, a, it's an, an organic process. We need to get the model um, to be as good as it possibly can be, and it, and it will inevitably be improved over time. Okay, we've talked a lot about what TASMOL can do. What, what can't it do? Well, first of all, some existing policies aren't simulated, um, and, and, and those are not the ones that are not on the policies list that I um, showed you in the previous slide. Um, such as farmer uh, subsidies, um, pensions and pension contributions, though I did mention we will be simulating pension contributions later in the year. It also doesn't simulate changes in behaviour. It's a static micro simulation model which simulates, you know, what would happen in, uh, 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 if the policy rules were as they are specified in the model, um, the immediate impact of that. And if you change the policy rules, it's the immediate impact of the change. It doesn't take into account, for example, that if you increase cash transfers, that might make people more mobile and more able to get jobs and uh, improve their job search and improve their income. That would be a behavioural um, change which isn't covered by this model. It also doesn't take into account any macroeconomic effects. The focus is on the direct impact on households. However, the output from the model can be used as a starting point for more complex analyses involving behavioural change and indeed even micro-macro linkages. So for example, in South Africa, we used um, SA mod um, as uh, a tool for forecasting um, uh, um, tax and benefit expenditure into the future, the tax uh, benefit expenditure and, 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 and tax recovery into the future and fed these into a social accounting model. Okay, let's now look at TASMOD and give an overview of what the interface looks like. And for this I'll use these screenshots but I will also um, uh, show you the actual live model itself. So first of all the input data set it's worth saving is in text format. It's already supplied with the model but new data sets can be added and existing ones amended and that will happen from time to time. This uh, screenshot is of the model program itself, which stores all the model parameters and allows the user to make changes and run simulations. And then it generates output in text format that can be analysed using a statistical package or one of the built-in uh, tools um, so that the impact on policy reform or poverty and inequality can be uh, uh, examined. Now I'm just going to now um, move back and look at the model itself in, 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 in real time. So there, here is the actual model. Um, I close up all of the expanded parts, but this is the model in interface. Um, and there are, all of the policies are listed that are simulated. Um, as I'll explain in subsequent sessions, the policies are of various kinds. There are um, what's called definitional policies, which for the time being I won't mention, but there are also the insurance contribution policies, if you watch my cursor, and then the income tax policies, the different policies for the um, PSSN um, benefits, and finally, excise duty and value added tax. But going back to the presentation, I'll sh show key parts of the user interface. So first of all, there are seven tabs, countries, display, country tools, administrative tools, 
add-ons, applications, help and info, which are along the top. And as these sessions unfold, you'll get to know how to use those, which ones are useful, which ones aren't useful, or as useful. And then there's the representation of Tanzania's tax benefit system for different policy years, um, which are in, in that um, column called policy. They're in their collapsed state at the moment, so you can't see all the workings, but you can see um, the headline um, uh, uh, um, taxes and benefits that are simulated. Then there's the run TASMOD, in fact it's now still called run Euromod, button and um, that generates another menu um, once you press it with additional functionalities. So how might TASMOD be used? Well TASMOD so new it hasn't yet um, had any uses um, uh, that uh, uh, um, we can talk about but we can talk about South Africa so I mentioned SA Mod is now really um, uh, getting quite mature and it's been used in many different ways. So for example it's been used to uh, simulate a youth benefit for the National Department of Social Development and there have been various different versions of youth benefit that, that have been simulated and there's actually a, a, um, a, a journal article which uh, details how it's been used. Um, the National Department of Social Development, I should explain, is the department in South Africa responsible for uh, social grants, uh, that is social transfers. We've also um, simulated a carer's benefit, again for another project for the Department of Social Development. A non-means-tested universal pension, this was done for the National Department of Social Development and the National Treasury. And then most recently, a non-means-tested universal child benefit for the Department of Social Development. So those gives you some examples of how um, the model might be used. Obviously, there will be different situations in Tanzania, but how it might be used um, in, in, in practice. OK, just to conclude the rest of the training course, the, the next session will be called Getting Started with TASMOD and we'll go into that interface that I showed you in more detail. Um, we'll then have a special session just looking at tax and benefit policies. Then a very important session on introducing new policies and amending existing ones. And finally, a session on analysing the output data. After this, um, what I will do is take people through the model um, just in more um, detail than hitherto. So if I can go back, I will just take us back to the model itself um, and conclude by just walking you through the model in a little bit more detail. I mentioned the tabs, seven tabs. Countries, simply there is only Tanzania at the moment, though um, as I also mentioned, hopefully there will be in the not too distant future Zanzibar to, to, to join it. Um, the display tab um, has um, all sorts of options um, that enable um, you to, for example, implement conditional formatting which means when there's a change um, you can see it because it will be highlighted in a in a different color etc etc um, it's not one that we use very often um, but as you get more experienced at using Euromod you tend to use it uh, more the country tools well the country tools allow you to add a system and we'll talk about systems in um, the next session, but a system is something like this column. It might there will be a new system for 2016 and 2017 in due co course. This allows us to add a system and delete a system. 
um, and those are the, probably the two most important there. And the other important one is uprating indices because one of the things that's clear when you've got a data set which is 2011, 2012, and we're now sitting in 2017, we need to uprate all of the um, monetary data in that survey up to uh, 2017 prices. And that's, we do that using the uprating indices. So that's the, that, that, that's the, that and the add system and delete system are the most important buttons on that particular to, uh, toolbar. Administration tools, the, by far the most important one here is the variables tool. Again, that will become clear in later sessions. The add-ons um, will become important when they've been completely and, uh, and finalised for the SouthMod program. Applications is useful, um, or at least the, the, the open output file application is, because this enables us to check the data very quickly by using the Excel um, uh, uh, um, button because it enables us to um, examine the output data in Excel. And then the, the, the others uh, um, are yet um, to be properly implemented for South Mod. When they are, summary statistics will allow us to look at the summary statistics for Tanzania. And then finally, the help and information, but the help particularly will uh, be useful for helping um, uh, 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 um, debug um, a function, etc. Now, we're not going to go into these things in detail, um, but um, each of these um, different um, policies um, does unpack into a series of steps, um, and I'll, I'll do the uprate one just out of interest. There's a, 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 a something called a function, and this is the uprate function, and then the function itself has a series of parameters. And, and some are, are more complex than others. Income tax, for example, um, has um, a total of five functions, and each one of those functions um, has a number of parameters attached to it. All of this, don't worry about at the moment, it's just to illustrate the interface and the fact that it um, is, can be seen in the collapse form, but then you can uncollapse it in order to work on the different policies. And that's all for this session. Thank you very much.